In this video, we provide the solution to question number six for practice exam number three for math 1210. And we're asked to compute the derivative of the function f of x equals e to the x over x squared plus two. This, uh, because our function is a fraction, uh, we're going to use the quotient rule to calculate its derivative. So remember our poem here, we're going to get low d high, take the derivative of e to the x, minus high d low, square the bottom, here we go. Some things to remember about the quotient rule is don't try to do too much at once. Use some scratch paper or use the margins in the page to write it out if you need to. Um, also, don't actually multiply out the denominator, leave it factored. That should be a square, not a prime there. And so now let's try to simplify these remaining derivatives here. We get x squared plus 2x. Derivative of e to the x is itself e to the x. Then we get a minus e to the x. We take the derivative of x squared plus 2x. That gives us a 2x plus 2. And this all sits above the x squared plus 2x squared. Now, when you look at the answers, none of those quite look like what we want. I, it turns out we need to simplify things a little bit. So let's factor out the e to the x and then see what polynomials left behind. x squared plus 2x, we get a minus 2x minus 2. Remember, this negative sign will distribute onto both of these pieces. And this sits above the denominator x squared plus 2x quantity squared. Notice. Now, once you've expand, once you factor out the e to the x, the two x's cancel out. You're left with x squared minus two. You have an e to the x, and you have a, this is all above x squared plus two x squared, uh, x squared over two x squared. That's right. So we see that the correct answer would be a using the quotient rule.